There are a lot of great bags out there. But let us never forget from whence they came. Welcome back, friends. Welcome back. Take two. <laughs> I got a mess of stuff here today. Um, I was thinking moments ago, I really like talking about product. I like talking about product that I really like. I think you know this. And I've got a bunch of stuff to show you today, stuff that you're likely familiar with, but it's been a long time since I've had the product in the store. And I thought it was worth just a little refresher. And I'm talking about, if you haven't guessed already, Caradice bags, the OG of bicycle saddlebags. Caradice started making bags in the 30s in, make sure I get the order correct, Nelson, Lancashire, England. And the designs, for the most part, I believe, of course, popular to, or contrary to popular belief, um, I wasn't around in the 30s, so I can't tell you for a fact. But I'm assuming that the designs are largely unchanged. And I want to start with the three bags that I'm pretty sure everybody's familiar with. And this is going to take a lot of bobbing and weaving. The barley, the Nelson long flap, and the camper. The autofocus is having a hell of a time keeping up with me today, so bear with me. Um, Nine liters for the barley, 15 liters for the Nelson long flap. You can add a little by extending the flap. And 24 liters for the camper. And they call them long flaps. This ought to be interesting. Last minute thing I didn't plan on doing. Because as you pull the flap up, it snaps and you can extend it, hence long flap. Good Lord. 100% waxed cotton duck, AKA canvas, doubled on the bottom for durability, leather straps, and standard buckles, two side pockets, just a classic saddlebag that you will two leather straps that run in through there and attach to your bag loops, or if you're using a, bag, a quick release bag support, that which we'll go over here in a second. And then one strap around your seat post. Standard fare, y'all know this. A new bag, at least new since I've had them, is the low saddle long flap. Which looks just like the rest of them, man. I'm telling you, that green is just gorgeous. Dark with those honey straps. Man. It's shorter. So if you have stubby little legs like mine, or you are short of stature, and you don't have a lot of seat posts showing, there's not a lot of space between the saddle and the bottom of your tire or fender, 
that's where the low saddle long flap comes in. It gives you 15 liters of capacity without having to worry about the bag hitting your tire. Pretty cool. Another new bag is the Audax. Cordura. Nine liter capacity, plastic buckles, reflectivity on the side on the uh, side pockets uh, it's got some pockets on the inside nine liters I think I said that so same as the barley and uh, three colors I've got it in three colors black neon and this camo which to me looks like DPM which would make sense because dispersed pattern material is uh, the camo the British have used for a long, long time. And it looks like a little rucksack. I mean, you can kind of, you could, you could think about Prince Harry when he was a, a wee lad marching around with a little DPM rucksack. Very cute, but nine liters and, you know, holds quite a bit. Now, you could attach this to your saddle, put the strap around the seat post, job done but you might want to use a bag support. And again, and these are harder to see, but that is the Bagman Expedition Standard bag support. Attaches to the rails of your saddle. So you need about 15 mil of rail behind the clamp in order for that to attach properly that's the only uh, place where I've seen trouble with these is that if you run your saddle uh, pretty far forward and you're running like a brook saddle that they don't have real long rails to begin with sometimes there's not enough room uh, to mount these but supports the bottom of the uh, bag and then instead of running the leather strap around through the bag and around the seat post you use this nylon strap and just attach the bottom of the bag to the bag support. And it keeps the bag more vertical as opposed to, you know, sitting kind of like this if it's just attached to the seat post. And then the quick release version of that is gonna look like this. And in this case, instead of running the leather straps through the bag loops, what you're gonna do is you're gonna run a pretty heavy zip tie, which is included with the rack, through the bag and around this. And then when you get to where you're going, boop, this comes off and the bag comes off. Um, and those bag sports come in two sizes. The Expedition is going to work for um, Nelson Camper. Probably would work with the low saddle, but I think the Sport is the one they recommend. And then the Sport is going to work for Barley Audax low saddle. Yeah. Um, why, why would you want a Caradice over, why would you want a Caradice over any other bag? Well, I mean, I think the biggest reason is you just like the style, right? You like the history, you like the classic look, you like the quality of the workmanship. But the other reason, uh, and it can't really be discounted no pun intended is you know they're just you know they're they're less expensive than you know a swift or a bags by bird or one of those other uh smaller companies yeah i'm really happy to have them back in the store i like them a lot i think they uh they st they're still relevant and in fact they may have never been more relevant at least in my lifetime uh, with what's going on in bicycling today 
and uh, I don't want them to be forgotten. So they're all on the website now. Uh, feel free to check them out. Email me or message me if you have any questions. I will endeavor to answer them as I always do. Um, thanks for watching. Till next time, be nice, work hard, ride bikes, play music when you can. I'll talk to you soon.